Hello and welcome to my channel. I had two MTD snowblowers that wouldn't start for me this fall. Both of them ran perfectly all last winter and when I put them away for the spring all I did was uh, turn them off and put them in the corner. Uh, I left the fuel, the fuel did have a little state, uh, sea foam in it but I left the fuel set in them all summer. Before I decided to take them to a dealer and have the dealer work on them, uh, there's one little procedure that I went through to change out the fuel and make sure that the, the fuel wasn't the problem. So let's get started. Down in the dirt. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to make for sure that you are starting it correctly. On uh, the MTD snowblowers, they have a throttle with an off. They don't. They do not have a fuel shutoff valve at all. So make for sure that the th throttle is all the way over on the rabbit side. I take and put take the plug out, put the put the uh, safety key back in again. Make sure that that didn't oxidize over the summer. You want to make for sure that you have your finger over the hole on the primer ball. So when you push that three or four times, that primes things up. Also on your choke, the choke closed and run. That's why they have a mark today. But make for sure that it's turned all the way over to the choke position. Then pull it three or four times and don't start. Prime it five or four or five or six times. Do it again if it doesn't start. You can use your electric starter, but remember only run that starter about five seconds at a time. Let's uh, let's assume that we think you think it's bad fuel. With mine, uh, they probably got just a little bit of water down in the in the fuel, and uh, that settled down into the bottom of the carburetor. So, what I did is I drained the fuel out. And there's uh, two easy ways or two two steps to this to to do it easily for me. Now, before I go any further, remember I'm not a mechanic. So this is just was is what I do um, as a homeowner over the years. Um, most of the time this works because I know the machine was running before I put it away. So most of the time this works. Sometimes it doesn't. If you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. Take it to a mechanic. If you want to, if you pretty sure that uh, the carburetor is all messed up full of gum and gunk and varnish I suggest going to the YouTubers channel DonBoy73 all one word D-O-N-B-O-Y 73 he's got uh, dozens and dozens of videos of working on uh, these machines how to what to do with them how to get them working again including the major stuff like changing out the carburetor. So first thing that I want to, that I recommend you do is get as much fuel out of the gas tank as possible. Um, there's no drain or hoses or anything to get a hold of on this. So and some of them have a screen. Take a and pull that screen out. Then just use a turkey baster. To take it, take it out, and I'm going to take this out of the package. <clears throat> so just take in, take all the gas out, put it in a, put it in a safe container. Remember, no open lights, cigarettes, or anything like that while you're doing this. The gas that you take out, you can dispose of properly. Or you can just uh, use a funnel and pour this into your gas, into your car or your truck. It's the, your car and your truck don't care. So 
Get as much out as you can. Then, let's go on to the next step. There is a drain screw on the bottom of the carburetor. And you can remove that drain screw and then let the gas drain out, of the rest of the gas drain out of the system. I'm going to take and tip the snowblower up on, it, on its nose to show you exactly where that's at. Okay, you don't have to tip these up to, to do this. Uh, in this instance, I just want to make sure that you can see what I'm talking about. On the, and let me zoom in here. On the bottom of the carburetor, there's two nuts. One is a regular 3 8 the other is a 3 8 with a, a Phillips screw insert in it. The one with the Phillips is the drain. So I recommend using a, a 3 8 inch box in wrench because these can be pretty tight. It's also real hard to get a screwdriver into that without taking the wheel off. So a 3 8 inch box in works the best. Just take, loosen it, unscrew it with your fingers, and then fuel will start to drip out. I would, and in this case I'd have to tip it back down again, but uh, I would let it all drain out and then I would let it set for probably another 30 minutes to an hour. Um, just to make for sure that all the, uh, if there's any moisture at all in there, it's all gone. You can take the carburetor bowl off if you want using this other screw, but be really careful because there is a gasket there that uh, you may mess up and when you go to put it back together everything leaks. So don't do that unless absolutely necessary. When it's draining, watch it at the, at the beginning. If there's any little chunks of dirt or rust or anything that runs out well then you uh, probably probably need to have the carburetor cleaned or replaced. Lastly how do you get that how do you take care of that fuel? Myself um, I don't do it the right way but I usually will take and uh, set the snowblower on a piece of cardboard and uh, then let this gas just drain onto the cardboard and then get rid of the cardboard when I'm done. Uh, it's only going to be about a quarter to a half a cup of fuel so it's not going to be a big mess. So you can dispose of that properly if you want to. Um, you could probably build a little, put a little funnel under it or something like that. So that's it. Put your screw back in put fresh fuel in and usually this first time now I'll take and put about four tablespoons of sea foam in, the, in this first tank of fuel and so that way if there's anything in the carburetor the sea foam will clean it out. Uh, your exhaust may want to, uh, it, you may get some white uh, exhaust smoke a little bit while that sea foam is working but that's there's no problem with that. So. That's it. Good luck. If this doesn't work, well, either look at Don Boy's videos or take it in. Thank you. Okay, that's it for this video. If you can leave comments and questions in the comment section below, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And if you are a mechanic and you have a better solution than what I just showed you, Feel free to put that down there in the comments below. Thank you. Down in the